what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel i am still in the garage but i'm actually done here in the garage it is currently one o'clock and i've been spending the last like week maybe even more with the garage renovations and moving things around and tossing a lot of things and um you know just really making this space an actual garage i have these bearings that came out of my k20 from my KRX when I went to the track and I spun the living hell out of them. So I'm going to give me the right idea of um, putting these in a photo case with a picture of the KRX and literally my first ever track session at Sonoma Raceway. I spun the bearings. So what better way to make great memories other than putting these spun bearings with the picture in a picture frame, right? So in today's video, we're going to talk about junkyards. You guys know I go to the junkyard a lot, although I haven't been going as of late because I haven't really checked the inventory to have a need to go there, but I'm probably going to go soon. In this video, what I want to share is pretty much a lot of my good junkyard scores throughout some of the years. Like I'm not going to go deep down the list, but maybe just um, some highlighted junkyard scores. For example, my JDM 96 spec Type R engine. I scored this one in the junkyard. Probably one of my best score ever. Rebuilt it zero miles. And that engine right there on the engine stand, it has 1,100 miles on it. And it drove great in the in the red CRX before I pulled it out for the built GSR Turbo. This video is just going to be a bunch of junkyard scores. I also want to admit something as well, too. I've had a lot of junkyard scores that weren't actually recorded. Because there are times where I walk into the junkyard and I'm just like, you know, just looking around and then a car pops up on the forklift and I'm like, looks like we're getting to work. But no worries, on the top of my head, I have a pretty good handful of clips I want to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and clean up and hit the sack because I am really tired and I'm going to have to do all of this again tomorrow. So if you guys enjoy this junkyard score highlight video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see what other throwback videos we're going to kick out, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Dude, I just think I hit the mother load. So over there, there's a B20 swap hatch. Right here, there's a B20 swap EJ6. There's an H22 right there. And most importantly, there's an EM1 right here with the GSR swap. And I'm pulling it. Guys, we have the engine offloaded. And damn, I still cannot believe I scored this in a junkyard. When I was looking at it, I thought it was a GSR transmission 2 until I got it in a van and kind of wiped it off. This is actually an EM1 and it is a b16 so this person hit me up on instagram and said hey i was just walking the yard and uh i seen this integra with a silvio front end and uh, i believe skyline tail lights and uh it has a b18c in it jdm b18c like i said it could be a gsr it could be a type r um what is this p30 that's a type r could be a poor man's type r B16 head with the uh, ATC bottom end. It's gone two intake manifold. Transmission is unknown. Check out the axle. See if it's an LSD transmission. And sure enough, it is, right? The cam shows the groove that this is a uh, 95 to 2000 JDM ITR camshaft. Now, the good thing about the block is it's not a drop valve. It's not blown holes or nothing and uh, verify that this is an 1101 dome so that's that's good indication that this is a full type r motor uh the block is good head is good if i rebuilt this then we have a fresh type r swap so this is the coupe right here it belonged to one of my uh subscriber which then became a friend um i believe these are skunk too probably gonna take those these are ebay or max peating i'm probably gonna leave these guys don't need it um you already know first thing ecu is gone this car was tuned by uh lawrence out here where i'm at h23 h2b and uh this transmission is done b16 transmission why do i know this because it was mine poor transmission look at that brand new clutch though that's cool but if you guys can see stripped I can time start it. Stripped. Stripped. Probably gonna charge it for the clutch too, but. I am stoked to have scored this motor. 
thanks to the homie um, Alejandro for giving me the pro tip that his old car was in the junkyard and uh, surprisingly the motor was still there so car definitely seems to have been rolled over and uh, it had BC racing callovers and you can see the cup completely destroyed the other side the other side is still here very nice and clean and uh, somebody already pulled the front ones off and those are gone at first for the picture I thought it was a type R motor um, it said type R on there which is probably just a sticker red valve cover and it had a k-tuned coil pack cover but it's just an a2 motor but the transmission the transmission um, seems to be shifting smoothly so I'm probably gonna take it Here we have a K20A2 O2 RSX, I believe it was. And uh, originally when my buddy let me know that this motor was in the car in the yard, I thought it was a Type R because the cover said Type R, Type R valve cover, black dipstick. And I rushed myself all the way out there to find out it was just an A2. But regardless of the fact, it seems to be a good motor. Crank rotates, transmission shifted. This morning I got a tip of a car in the junkyard and uh it's a real clean virgin white four-door integra db8 gsr so guys you know typically like i've said before when i come into the junkyard i'm always trying to figure out why this car is here and this car is really clean it has like 150k on it so he just grabbed the ecu and the engine harness which is right there on the floor and he said pretty much you can have the engine so well progress update probably about an hour now and I pulled the transmission off first to give us a little wiggle room for the engine to drop down. I wanted to clean the engine before I take it to the storage and before you guys ask, uh, it is not for sale. Now the reason why a lot of these scores aren't for sale when I get them is because I keep them to have choices. Like this build wouldn't have happened if I didn't got the K from the junkyard. It was because I had a spare K sitting around is why I went K in this car. A no brainer. I am 100% taking the seats. So I put the seats together. They're pretty light, honestly, and I tied a power cable to it. I'm going to see if I can carry it all the way to the front. Today, right now, we're going to be heading to the junkyard. When I say we, I mean you guys are going to be going with us. Yo. Yo. B16A2. B16 transmission. No way. Stock control arms. Not the greatest condition, but no signs of leaks. And it's weird because on the top of the car it says junk. I wonder why it says junk. I got the black suspension chilling right here until I figure out what I want to do with it. Got the VTEC head right here on my GSR block. Good place for it to sit to make it look like I have a complete long block. Today we're starting our late morning heading to the junkyard. Leo found the car right here, TSX. The freshest one in the yard came here two days ago. And surprisingly, everything is still intact. Any perfect. <laughs> Dude, perfect height too. Look at for real. Just enough room. I 
I don't have a, I don't have a flywheel. Um, I gave my buddy Brian a starter. Got a pro tip this morning that a car came into a junkyard. Had to be the furthest one for me of my three yards. And it's got a lot of goodies in it. This is it. This is the one. DC header. Skunk 2 radiator. Skunk 2 hoses. Pro C's in good condition. I don't see no leaks on it. Oh. Oh, it's got an AFR rear. I gotta get down to work. Probably gonna take all that too. Since we're here already. I don't know if I'm tripping, but that spring is really short. And custom single braided line. Oh, it's got an S2K Master. Damn, this thing's got a lot of goodies. Is this a Type R muffler? No dolly, no problem. I uh, got everything here laid out for you guys to show you what I picked up. And um, I hella forgot the Blox S2000 Clutch Master and the uh, Good Ridge Stainless Steel line. I also got the spacer with it, so um, somebody can use that. Obviously, we got the ASR brace and the sway bar with all the hardware. And then the Pro C uh, coilovers. Uh, the Skunk 2 radiator is fairly brand new and uh, it is a full size. I took the fan off because I didn't need it. But Skunk 2 right there and Skunk 2 hoses. Good morning, you guys. Today, we're headed to the junkyard. So, big shout out to Dylan. Dylan, I met him a couple of years ago at the junkyard and uh, we kind of became friends. He spends more time here in the junkyard than me and uh, he was actually here yesterday when this car was dropped and uh, because it was like literally the last row to come in before they closed, Dylan worked down the street. So this morning he came, waited in line and got here first and claimed the car. Guys, this is an RSX Type S. We got the ECU here, PRB baby. So instead, we chopped the whole entire front off to stick the cart underneath it and literally just two bolts. This motor should just drop right onto the cart. Oh, man. At the end of the day, I still spent $535. Is it a good score? Indeed it is. Because the ECU goes from anywhere between, you know, three to five hundred dollars depending on where you're getting it from right so i got that uh i got the entire engine harness that goes for about 250 300 dollars or i can keep that for a uh, later swap but if i want to recuperate money just that alone will pay itself back 